coffee shop, sipping on green tea and honey. Café and mocha on my lips, sweet syllables drip. Drinking conversation, writing poems on revolution while she spoke of evolution. Dimly lit December skies, illuminated by her eyes. I warmed myself in her gaze, gray days, smiling rays of sunshine. Her voice was liquefied love. I held up my cup of soul for a refill and drank slowly, consuming sacred vows, silently sitting, breathing in essence and ideas, corner table consummation. Tongue slow danced as words flirted and mingled. Nina Simone in background sings, echoing because she knows things like how I feel and to be free. Coffee shop chatter ebb and flow of sounds that seem to come and go. Her laughter is a music box medley of melody, delicate lullaby beauty. Soothing fragrant hair whisk, perfumed whip, floral bouquet. Blooming passion, long stem strength and a vase of independence. I wanted to eternally be the honey in her tea and she the leche in my cafe. Some say magic only happens in fairy tales and hidden cafes on rainy days in midwinter. She touched my hand, shivered, being the man that I am. Had to stand, gave her my jacket because I didn't want her to catch a cold. But secretly, I wanted her to catch a fire for me. Mm. Yeah. Wow. 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 <laughs> these, are my, these are my last two. Uh, it's called Killing Ego. I'm constantly trying to kill my ego, but it just doesn't work sometimes. Um, I once tried to kill ego by drowning it in a copper basin of holy water, but only ended up baptizing it. I once tried to kill ego on an elaborate plan, gun in hand, raised wrist, iron fist, but ego talked me out of it. I once tried to kill ego, leading it to a cliff on the edge of existence, prompting it to jump, instead it flew. I once tried to kill ego by starving it, weakened and thin it seemed to perish, until someone came along and fed it. I stopped trying to kill ego, ignored it, and it disappeared like thoughts and ideas that fade to nothing, never to return. Um, nice. Sits on this altar of ego, half eaten, I made an altar para ego. 